Every morning with a cup of hot tea, Michael McMahon takes in the unpolished wildness of LA's 4,000 acre Griffith Park behind his apartment complex. You know, I kind of feel special and like I'm a voyeur, like this, this whole natural um, world is here and I'm just sort of like peeking in on it. McMahon has nine trail cameras set up nearby. When he's lucky, he captures images of P-22, Griffith Park's famous resident mountain lion. And he's lucky a lot. So I've, I've had cameras along here and got P-22 a number of times. McMahon moved here nearly a decade ago after a divorce, having rarely ventured into the natural world. Today, he's one of the most prolific chroniclers of P-22 capturing him 77 times on camera, including this footage from just a few weeks ago. McMahon says he's become a P-22 fanboy, seeing a lot of himself in this lone cougar. He's getting a little older, I'm getting a little older. Um, you know, we're, we're two older bachelors roaming the Hollywood Hills. It's amazing to go for a hike in Griffith Park and see all the other people walking and hiking and walking dogs taking pictures of the Hollywood sign, and knowing that this large predator has made a life here. I mean, there's something about that that just makes this place all the more wild. P-22's story began a decade ago when this lone male mountain lion, then a juvenile, set out from his home range in the Santa Monica Mountains, crossed the 405 and 101 freeways unscathed, and ended up in Griffith Park. He's since become a local legend, there's a dedicated P-22 exhibit at the Natural History Museum. He's graced the pages of National Geographic, that famous photo of P-22 with the Hollywood sign illuminated behind him. He survived mange and rat poison, and he may have eaten one of the zoo's beloved koalas. He's so celebrated here that LA has an annual P-22 day festival every October. I even tasted a craft beer named after P-22 at downtown's Angel City Brewery with head brewer Leighton Cutler. Two P-22 Thank you, sir. Thank you. Wow. So the beer itself is a hazy pale ale. Okay. And it kind of has the same color as, you know, like a mountain lion's fur. And it looks like a mountain lion. Yeah, it does. If the beer was a mountain lion, this would be. Exactly, this exactly. Would be it. Cheers. Cheers. Across town at Los Angeles County's Natural History Museum, visitors browse its famous dioramas of North American wildlife, including a mountain lion and her cubs in their native California habitat. Miguel Ordignana, a wildlife biologist with the museum, was the first to capture a trail camp photo of P-22 in Griffith Park back in 2012. It was a groundbreaking moment. When I saw that photo, it was like seeing Bigfoot or La Chupacabra for the very first time because most people were like, it's impossible because Griffith Park was just thought to be just too disconnected from where we knew mountain lions existed in Los Angeles by freeways and urbanization. And so for me to get that photo, it was just so many questions ran through my head. The main one being how Angelinos would react to having an apex predator living in an urban park with 10 to 15 million visitors a year. But then he thought about P-22's story and the risky journey he took to arrive in this new territory unscathed. It's a story of survival. It's a story of resilience um, in a place like Los Angeles that is home to a lot of immigrants. Um, it's also a story of an animal crossing boundaries, borders, um, and figuring out a way to survive. Ordignana says he can relate as a Latino who struggled to find his way in a white-dominated conservation field. It also shows why P-22 has had such wide appeal in one of the U.S.'s most culturally diverse cities, bringing the message of endangered wildlife to communities and to people like who never gave Friday. it much thought before. Okay, and we gonna be over there. Go to 112th, though. I'm gonna be on 112th. Okay. All right. All right. You're looking at our home, Watts, California. Some of us call it the forgotten land, because sometimes you feel that way. But most of us just call it home. Warren Dixon is with Third Rock Hip Hop, which teaches kids about the environment. 
He partnered with the National Wildlife Federation's Save LA Cougars campaign to bring this P-22 inspired mural to the heart of LA's Watts neighborhood. For us, this represented possibilities. It represented survival. It represents migration. Everything that it took for our people to survive is the same thing that it took for the species you see here to survive. But P-22's universal appeal across LA's cultural diversity isn't his only legacy. He's also become the poster cat for saving LA's biodiversity. National Park Service biologist Jeff Sikich has studied the impacts of urbanization and habitat fragmentation on mountain lions in the Santa Monica Mountains for two decades. In Liberty Canyon near the 101 freeway, he uses radio telemetry to track nearby cougars. Sikich says cougars here in the Santa Monica Mountains are in trouble. Their habitat is surrounded by freeways, development, and the Pacific Ocean. It's essentially an island, isolating the cougar population here. And so our mountain lions here in the Santa Monica Mountains has some of the lowest genetic diversity ever recorded outside that of the Florida panther, the Florida mountain lion that went nearly extinct in the early 90s. There are anywhere from 10 to 15 adult cats living here at one time, which is as much as the habitat can support. But if something called inbreeding depression sets in, Sikic says these fragmented local populations could become extinct within 15 years. And they're already seeing the signs of that, with several cubs recently born with kinks in their tails, a symptom of inbreeding. Thanks to Griffith Park's P-22, though, help is on the way. So this is the location where we just broke ground and we're going to build a wildlife crossing. It's going to be a vegetated overpass over the 101 freeway. It's going to be located straight across here where you can kind of see this triangle on the hill above. With P-22 as a poster cat for the project, the Save LA Cougars campaign helped raise the roughly $90 million needed to build what will become the world's largest wildlife bridge. Vehicle strikes are a leading cause of death for mountain lions here, killing more than two dozen since 2002. Once completed, the bridge will allow safe passage for not only cougar populations, but also countless other species. Unfortunately, P-22 won't benefit from the crossing. He's still penned in by freeways surrounding Griffith Park, nearing the end of his life, with little chance of ever finding a mate. But Miguel Ordeñana at the Natural History Museum hopes that once he's gone, his legacy will live on forever. Literally. If he's in good enough shape, uh, we hopefully will um, partner with our taxidermist and be able to, to mount him in a way that allows people to continue to learn about his legacy and his story for many years to come. A fitting Hollywood ending for L.A.'s most beloved feline. Sam Eaton, Newsy, Los Angeles.